Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome to another edition of What's in the Bag, Jay? Now this is a segment where I take six movies from my collection that I haven't seen, write their names on a piece of paper, throw them in the bag, draw one out at random, and do a short review. Now I rolled a five last week, so back in the lineup. Dead Tone. The Last Lovecraft, Relic of Cthulhu, The Endless, Stripperland, Never Cry Werewolf, and making his debut this week, The Demented. This is where I take the names, I throw them in the bag, where I urge you guys to vote for the one you want if it doesn't get reviewed, and if it doesn't make it to come back next week, then I'll definitely consider it. All right, let's give the uh, bag a good old tussle here. All righty, let's see what we got. I got two here, oh, I dropped them both. All right. Okay, that took entirely too long. The Demented, of course. All right, well, I'm going to set this one aside because I'm going to review The Demented. And now I'm going to put all these side by side by side. Get my cup, and I almost grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. Shake my Freddy vs. Jason die. Two. So now I draw two names out of the bag at random. Let's give it another good tussle. Let's see. Uh, the Endless. And the next one, The Last Lovecraft. So, The Endless and The Last Lovecraft are coming back next week. Make sure if you uh, want Stripper Lane to come back, or Never Cry Werewolf, or Dead Tone, make sure to vote for them. If not, there will be fresh ones next week. Now I'm going to... Take the Demented and do a short review. Later. Well, I'm back. I just watched The Demented, and here are my thoughts. The Demented is a 2013 film, which runs approximately 92 minutes, and is written and directed by Christopher Roosevelt. Couldn't find anything else on him. This stars Kayla Ewell as Taylor. She was in Deadly Daycare and Impact Point. It also stars Richard, and I'm probably going to butcher this last name, Konki as David. He was in the movie Wolves. And Billionaire Boys Club. It also stars Ashley Bryan as Bryce. He was in the movie You and Amateur. Brittany Algy as Naomi. She was in the Fantastic Four, the newer one, and Furious 7. And the most recognizable character, Sarah Butler as Charlie. She was on I Spit on Your Grave, the remakes, parts one. And I believe part three, Vengeance is Mine. Because I believe part two had somebody different in it. And finally, Michael Welsh as Howard. He's in The Final Wish and Bloodcraft. Now an interesting thing about the film, this is the second zombie film that Michael Welsh is involved in. The first one being Day of the Dead, 2018. I believe that was the one that had Ving Rhames in it, and I uh, can't remember the name of the girl. 
Yeah, I can't remember her name. For some reason, I'm blanking on it for some reason. Um, yeah, this movie was, um, it was okay. Uh, the plot is as follows. A group of kids, there are four couples, I believe, or three couples. No, it's four couples. They're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and they're going to Howard's father's uh, summer home, which apparently he doesn't, you know, let just anyone stay there. As they're there, they're having a great time. You get to witness the dynamic between all the couples, and they're basically pretty people with very wooden acting and just silly dialogue, in my opinion. And it comes through on the news that there is a biological weapon that's been shot at the United States that apparently is going to hit Louisiana. As they're outside, they're trying to get through to their significant others and their loved ones and, you know, all sort of stuff. Deciding on whether or not to stay there or to evacuate. As I believe it's uh, Charlie is standing outside... A missile passes over her head and detonates not far from there. They decide to stay until the army can get to them and save them. But when they're there, they find a... It almost looks like a rabid dog outside. This is basically the start of the infection and the start of the zombie movie. Now, this is a little bit different than a lot of other zombie movies because this is more of an infection movie where it drives people mad and makes them crazy. Um, there have been a lot of movies like that, too. But this is weird because this is based completely on sound. If you don't make a sound, the zombies kind of stay in a frozen sort of limbo. Which I actually thought was interesting. Now, did I like this film? Um, it was okay. I didn't like it much when I was starting, when it was starting, because I thought that the dialogue was silly. Eh, some of the characters weren't very likable. And probably about 20 to 30 minutes into the film, I was like, eh, I don't think this is going to be very good. But it did kind of win me over a little bit. Um, I liked what they did with the zombies. These are running zombies. These aren't, um, slow zombies. So, you know, I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, the biggest fault I have with it, besides the, um, crappy dialogue and the wooden acting, is the ending. The ending really irritated me. Really, really irritated me. And if you watch it, you'll find out why. <laughs> Do I recommend this film? Eh. If you like zombie movies, you might get a kick out of this one. It didn't really do much for me. It was okay. Uh, definitely not something I'm going to be watching again anytime soon. But, eh. Have you seen The Demented? What did you think? Definitely comment below and let me know. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.